what commonly used words should you try to eliminate from your presentation to create a smoother delivery? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Recently, I was watching a speaker, and she was very enthusiastic. I noticed something about her speech, though. She started using a word over and over that became very distracting. The word was and. I realized after a short time that her speech began to feel like one long stream of consciousness. I was doing this with my brother, and we did this, and that was really exciting, and, and, and. I thought, oh, she needs some work. Good story. Needed some work as far as the delivery. What should you do instead of the word and? I suggest that you go over your script and you put a period everywhere there's the word and. I get it. Sometimes you do need the word. Like when I went out to dinner with my mom and dad, you're not going to say, I went out to dinner with mom and dad and my brother. That doesn't work. But when you find that thoughts are being connected by the word and, that's where you put a period. In working with clients, I often teach them, talk on stage the way you do it in ordinary conversation. What this means is speak sometimes in what I call clipped sentences the way you would in an ordinary conversation. How do you cure this problem? The answer is pretty simple, actually. You've heard me say this before. Record yourself, then listen to it. When you listen to yourself and you hear these ticks and these words that you use, that is the first step toward curing the problem, the awareness. When you're on stage speaking to a group and you hear yourself, you'll do some self-editing. This problem will not go away overnight, but I promise hearing yourself do it will speed up the process. Your tip today is lose the word and as much as possible. Create clearer and more concise sentences and your audience won't feel like they're listening to a long stream of consciousness. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.